Jim Rehnquist was appointed to the Supreme Court by Richard Nixon in 1972. After 14 years of service, he was elevated to Chief Justice by Ronald Reagan. William Rehnquist had been on the Supreme Court as an Associate Justice. He had a track record as a reliable, very firm conservative. So it was a natural thing for the uh, President to appoint him to be the Chief Justice. The Rehnquist Court, as it became known, transferred more power to the states, overturning nearly three dozen federal laws. But even the Chief Justice didn't always get his way. He dissented when the court upheld Roe v. Wade, when it allowed affirmative action in school admissions, and when it kept a ban on prayer in public schools. Rehnquist's most public role as Chief Justice came when he presided over the impeachment trial of President Bill Clinton. The court's most controversial decision under Rehnquist came in 2000, when it settled the Florida election dispute in the case of Bush versus Gore. But Rehnquist's legacy will likely be defined by the court's shift during his tenure as Chief Justice. And in the course of time that he was Chief Justice, he managed to swing that court around so that by the end of his tenure, it was firmly in the conservative group. It will be remembered as the Rehnquist Court, a very conservative court. Chris Jansing, NBC News.